G'day viewers, welcome to Wimble Train. Today we're going to answer a question from a couple of my viewers about a uh, previous video I did. Now it involved this circuit in front of us where we're controlling the Carto turnout with a toggle switch and a push button switch. So if you haven't already seen that video, then I'll put a link to it uh, here up in the corner and down below. And uh, basically this was just a uh, push button operated. So you flick your toggle switch, you press the momentary push button and it would flick the turnout over. And we had a couple of LEDs here indicating which way the turnout was switched. So the question was, is can we just use one master push button for multiple turnouts rather than one push button per turnout? And the answer to that question is yes. Now the way we do this, we have to introduce some extra circuitry in here. So we'll just go over now and have a look at how we do that. So we can see here we've got our basic setup with just the push button, the momentary push button switch in there. Now if I um, go to the next slide, we'll see the uh, modification we need to do. And basically what it involves is for every turnout, we need to install a 12 volt relay. Now this relay will act as our push button switch for each turnout. And then as we can see there, we're going to have a master momentary push button switch, which will operate the relay for every turnout. So then here we can add our LEDs back in. So this will work exactly the same way as just having just a momentary push button as I showed in the first slide. So we can see here in the 12 volt relay connections that we're connecting to the common and the normally open connections of the relay. So when we press the master momentary push button switch, the relay will momentarily switch over and connect the common to the normally open connection and that will then operate the turnout. So now we've got a diagram of here how we would connect multiple turnouts to the one push button switch. So as you can see there, there's a 12 volt relay for each turnout and one master momentary push button switch which is then wired as per the diagram there. So pretty straightforward. So this is an early control panel I did. I don't really use this one anymore. This uh, I think had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six turnouts on it. Um, I'll just show you the relays inside. What I did, it's a bit of a mess wiring wise. So these are the um, relays here. They're probably a bit it's just ones I had, they're probably a bit overkill, you probably don't need ones this this big. So you can just pick up uh, the cheaper ones on uh, eBay and that. Um, but for this one, I ran a 3 amp 12 volt power supply just to make sure everything worked. I think I tried a 1 amp and it, it, it wasn't enough. So um, it just depends whether you're switching them all at once or not. So you can get online and uh, some electronic shops uh, sell these uh, relay boards as well. Like I think this one's a 5 volt one, but you can get 12 volt versions. And they seem to be uh, more cost effective, I guess, buying them like this. And you get all the um, connectors here if you're normally open, normally closed. So it's all labelled there, so it's fairly easy to use. Right, so that's about it for this video. Uh, hopefully it's come in useful to those uh, people who've asked the question. Um, this is the way I did it. There might be other ways to do it, but this is a sort of fairly clean way, if you like, with the uh, relays, not involving any other electronics, just a simple relay doing the switching. So thanks for watching once again to everyone. Really appreciate everyone taking an interest. Don't forget to enjoy your model railways. This is John at Wimble Train saying see you next time. Bye.